Hey, these back people, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose a bad thermostat. As you can see, it's 48 degrees inside the house. Thermostat is set for 67, and the unit is not doing nothing. Got it set for heat, and it's in auto. But it's 47 degrees, unit is not turning on. So this is a Goodman furnace, but it should work for any furnace. You take a look at the control board, Turn this light off. You see the light is on. That means we have 24 volts to the control board. So another way you can check and see if you got 24 volts. As you can see, I have 28 volts. You can go from common to red with your meter and you should get 28 volts. Another way to, to diagnose a bad thermostat, I'm going from common to, red, to W1 with my meter. Comment to W1, I got zero votes. Bad thermostat, should have 24 votes. So another way you can do this, you can, you can get you some jumpers, alligator clamps like this. You go from red to W1, and if the heater turns on, you know you have a bad thermostat. As you can see, the heater is turning on. So I'm really jumping it out. So until you can get you another thermostat, you may want to warm the house up since it's 48 degrees inside. You can just jump it out like that from R to W1, but you're going to need to get that thermostat. You can see the furnace is turning on now. All right, so that's how you diagnose a bad thermostat. All right, wiring in my new thermostat. That's that common we were checking up there. And it's my W1 that I'm gonna put in here that we were checking 24 volts to. Snap that on there. Raise our set point. All right, we got heat for Honeywell Home. 